welcome back everyone so in this video i will be sharing a tool today that every windows user must have on their computer now once i will explain you about this tool then you will realize that how useful this tool can be the tool is free and it can help you to manage any kind of application feature services you can do a lot of troubleshooting you can manage and optimize your computer for gaming or for the best performance and now the best part is that you don't have to download this from any third party website the tool is available on microsoft store with the best rating so let's quickly get it started now you will have to bring up your microsoft store and once it comes up you need to click on the windows search and type win toys and now once it comes up you have to download it i have already downloaded so it shows me open but you will be getting an option of get so you need to click on get and you can see the rating here around 4.7 star rating they have got that is quite excellent and once you have downloaded it you need to click on open click on yes and this kind of simple interface simple dashboard will be coming up that will be giving you all kind of information about your computer like what kind of memory you are using what kind of system you have the processor your windows operating system name the graphic card and even it give you the status about your computer like application running the process running the services and what kind of junk has been cleaned all right now what you will have to do from the left in menu option first you have to click on apps now from here it will display all kind of application installed on your windows computer so it will also list you all kind of pre-installed application that is not listed in the control panel okay so if you want to uninstall any pre-built application pre-installed application then you can do it from here only so let's say that i don't want this news and the msn weather option then on the right hand side you will find a three dot click on it then click uninstall and this will be uninstalling that application in few seconds only all right so from here you can manage the application you can clean the junk clean the application that you don't use so that your computer must be more faster and give you the best performance now next we have the services tab so if i click on it so you can manage all kind of your services running on your computer so you can have a look here and it will let you know that the service is running and what is the startup type mood is it manual or automatic and let's say if you want to manage it then on the right side click on the three dot then you can stop it you can restart and if you want to change the startup type then hover up to mood and you can make it from manual to automatic all right so this is how it does and similarly you can look over all these services running here and you can manage them from here only now next we have the boost option so if i click on boost so now it gives you tons of features a very useful features and on the top we have the ultimate performance power plan so if you want the best performance if you want to do gaming on your computer then you should enable this ultimate power plan option on your computer so you get the option here to enable or disable it so if you want to do gaming then you can enable this option but if you are on a laptop and if you just want to do simple work then you can disable this option next we have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and if you really do gaming on your computer then you must enable this option but if not then you can disable it next we have vbs virtualization based security so if you want the protection against the vulnerabilities the malicious exploit and application attack then you can enable this option but yes this will be uh, consuming a lot of resources and if you're really concerned about the high cpu and memory usage then you can disable this option so it's all up to you then you can manage the startup application so if you click on it it will be loading up all kind of application and from here only you can enable them or you can disable them or even you can delete the entries from the startup application then we have the restartable app so this gives you an option that every time the computer comes up you don't have to sign in to all kind of your application to save your time of course so it's all up to you if you want to enable this option you can enable it and then we have the background app so if you want the best performance so that the application running in the background that should be disabled so that they consume the low resources and you get the best performance then you can enable this option activities tree uh, you can disable this visual settings 
Now this is basically for getting the best uh, visual effect but if you are concerned about the best performance and if you want that there should be low CPU and the memory usage then you can disable these options. Then we have the gaming settings and if you click on the drop down you can enable the game mode, background recording, if you don't want simply disable it, super fetch, if you are using gaming, if you do the gaming and you have the problem of high CPU and the RAM usage then you should disable super fetch search indexing this will be helping you in search like doing any kind of window search so it will give you the best performance quick result but of course this occupy a lot of high cpu and the memory usage and if you want to optimize your computer so that it should consume low resources then you can disable search indexing delivery optimization uh, it's related to windows update uh, if you want that there should be low data usage or if you want that the, the performance should be best then you can enable or disable this option now let's go to the health tab now here on the top we have the fast startup now fast startup basically help you to load the computer much faster and it increases the boot time and your computer load very quickly but it's not recommended from my side because the fast startup application doesn't shut down the whole application running in the background due to which you can have multiple problems. So you can keep this option disabled and if you want to enable it then you can enable it. It's all up to you. Next you have the hibernation that you can manage. Drive optimization. If you want that there should be a drive optimization every time then you can enable this option. Storage sense. And if you want that the computer should clean all the junk from your computer automatically, then you can enable the storage sense. Now next few tools are related to troubleshooting. And if you click on the repair option, you can see it says recommended for crashes, freezes, blue screen, failed update, etc. So if you have any kind of such problem, then just open the repair tab. Now here it asks you to run this kind of tool. The DISM tool, the SFC tool and the CHK disk tool okay once you select it you get the option of a scan and repair so first you can scan it then you can repair it and if there is any kind of problem due to which you are facing any kind of freezing crashing problem then that will be fixed next we have the cleanup if you want to clean your computer like from the taskbar the junk file file explorer microsoft store dns then you can manage everything from here only then you have the update option so you can manage the update then you have the graphic driver if you want to restart the graphic if there is any kind of graphic issues then you can restart it icons cache if you want to clear it or if you want to rebuild it then you can rebuild from here only okay so then we have the tweak tab and if i click on it so there are the tweak that you can apply on your computer so if i click on the desktop one so you can uh, manage all these setting like showing this PC option, show recycle bin, show shortcut arrow, the arrow that has been displayed in the icon of desktop. If you want to remove it, then you can disable this option. And then we have the start menu. And from here include Bing search result. If you want to disable it, auto install suggestion, you can disable it. Then you have the file explorer option. So you can see there are lots of features included in this tool. Okay, so I've shared the major feature about this tool that you can enjoy and now I'm very sure that you would be interested to download this tool right now because this will be helping you in different manners and with different purposes. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you will enjoy this video and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for more related videos in the future and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.